Crazy Horse still refused to go to the reservation. And this time, many more followed him. Over 10,000 people joined him on the Little Bighorn River. Their camp stretched for almost five miles. I didn't know so many people left Red Cloud and Spotted Tail to follow you. And more of them are coming. You see now that the reservation is nothing but starvation and shame. These men will fight. What about the horse soldiers? Let them come. General George Custer was sent to drive the Lakota back to the reservation. Maybe he dreamed he would die that day. I can't know his heart, but he cut his hair and cheated us of his scalp. Six hundred horse soldiers patrol behind the bluffs. Wait! We'll wait. I want to know where he plans to attack. Early that afternoon, General Custer sent out his first forces led by Major Reno to attack one end of the village.
General Custer waited three miles down the river. He did not know Major Reno had failed. Custer looked across the river. He could not imagine how many warriors there were. Nor could he understand that here was a Lakota who had learned how to fight a white man's war. 